at about Hi, Nick. 20 mil. About 20 mil. Right. So how are we doing that, Nick? So we turn the car back to flat. Then just rock the car back enough so the float comes onto the needle, but not enough so it compresses so the spring. Up and, up and under there. So if you then if you go from this from the carburetor ceiling flange yeah. to the top. That's about twenty something mil. Though. I've got it pretty much twenty, maybe twenty and a half. So I'm about two millimeters too low. I need to go just a touch higher. So go that touch higher. So Give it a little bit of a bend upwards. Bend it up. Screw driver, driver might be a little bit big. Let's see if I can do it without destroying it. Doesn't need much. <laughs> it's way too much. <laughs> But it's good to show the extremities. But anyway, yeah, right, so I've just really, again, go from flat to doing that. I'm now on what, about 16? Yeah. Right, so... so that shows what you need to do, and you're so, aiming for so 18. I've just gone a little bit far. So again, hold on to your float. Just bend it back down and a bit. So you don't bend, bend the whole thing. Bend it down a touch. And again, go back again, and... Where am I now? You'd have to be about 18, would you? Right. Right? Yep. 18. That's us. Perfect. You can also normally tell, because that casting mark there... Runs parallel. In the float, runs parallel with the... And the carby, and that level there is about 45 degrees almost, isn't it? Well, whatever it takes, you know, just yeah, to just get to, it enough so, so it, it just, just sits on there. That on that there. If you go too far... It actually compresses the little spring, the in spring there. Yep. and it doesn't mean a goddamn thing. So tilt it back just enough just so, to sit on top so you can spring. tell because it comes off yep. off the needle, then just bring it back till it just stops. Beautiful. Cheers.